Welcome back to Good Day Big Bear. Thanks for staying tuned. We have a phone call. Is that, oh. is that an on-air call? That, maybe that's oh, our, our entertainer. Now, you used to be an entertainer. Yeah. We don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? Do you want to relive the 70s again? Oh, God. <laughs> Did it all, you know? <laughs> Welcome I, back, I everybody. Drums, you know? Yeah? yeah well, they, 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 you know, I, I'm a drummer, too. I know. Uh, yeah, I played... I played Cornet, trumpet, and tuba, and accordion, a variety of different things. But I ended up settling on drums. You know the problem with drums? Hard to take to a party and have everybody sing along. <laughs> exactly. You're a lonesome stranger, you know? <laughs> although, It never although, sounds good when you're alone. <laughs> Art Harriman has been doing some of these drumming sessions. Have you been to one of these? No, I haven't. It's great fun. It's like 30 people, uh -huh. all kinds of different percussion instruments, and it's very kind of tribal. Wow. And I it's, it, haven't done it. It's, it's very good. Next time I hear about one, we'll go. Please do. That would be awesome. You, you I'll, bring, yeah, I'll give you my bongos. I'll give you my bongos. <laughs> you look like a bongo yeah. kind of guy. No, no. Don't <laughs> go there. Don't go there. Everybody, this is Dan Bathurst with Exit Realty. And, um, well, you go to school a lot. Yeah, do I you, ever? You sure? You know, it, it, I've been to school for the last two days. So. Yes, you have. <laughs> all, all kinds of time down the hill there. Uh, Dad brings us our, our real estate stats. Before we get into that, maybe you could, could refresh everybody because some people say, well, why do I care? Why do I care about stats? Well, for one thing, I really did the st started doing the stats because uh, I had a, a salesman, uh, Ted Pritchett, who was just a numbers guy. I just loved it. I, I know a lot of people know Ted. And he moved back to Colorado, mm -hmm. and he left this kind of uh, behind with us. And he used to give stat reports all the time, and I, I never really realized the value of it until you start following it, and you can see the trend of the market. Mm -hmm. And we do it on a weekly basis instead of a monthly basis, right. so, so you can see exactly how everything is moving. And it was very detailed. Uh, you can't do all the detail here, but the information no, is... It's only an hour show. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Once you get me going, you can't stop me. <laughs> so, um, once you get once you get into it, and you start realizing that it really does show you where things are traveling on a weekly basis, uh, the information is absolutely incredible, and it really it, it helps everybody just understand what is happening in the marketplace. Is it up? Is it down? Are we getting uh, more we square footage for our money? It's not a guessing you're game not, you're not These are the real facts. Anybody yeah. can say anything, but these are the real numbers. Oh, the yeah. market's on a strawberry yeah. bound. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. And, 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 you know, I, I don't know how many of you folks have ever thought about trading commodities or doing stocks or investing in real estate or whatever. But the trends and the market flow is is critical. Yes. If you because it, first of all, it's easy to buy when things are screaming upwards. Exactly. You know, it, it, it's easy to buy stock at the top of the market. Exactly. Well, I'm going to wait till gold hits three thousand, then I'll buy. <laughs> and that's but when, we might be when, headed there. when it's on the way down, it's a lonely place. It is a very lonely place. It, it's scary out there. And trying to watch that and what's happening, you know, you have to consider the fact that for most agents and, and realtors in the valley, nobody at anywhere really has ever been in this position before. Not in um, this life. As far probably. as yeah. far as you know what the market is doing. You know, we wrote a great bubble for a great period of time there, and um, people got complacent. They got uh, to the point where they were basically order takers, mm -hmm. and now everybody has to really watch everything all the time because things change so rapidly, mm -hmm. and you know, not always for the better. And but yet you got to look at the good side of uh, what's going to come from this, and the way I see it. And you know, this is just one man's opinion, but I I've, I've been in that. Uh, did the uh, car business for several years, and in the uh, process of being in the car business, you watch what goes on around you. You see which cars are, are moving, which aren't, so you order accordingly. Same thing in our inventories here. You watch this inventory and how it moves. Um, you can educate people just by what you see. Mm -hmm. And so where we're at today is we rode that big old bubble high as it could go, and it finally crusted and, crusted and, and blew. And when it did, now we're going to we're going downward, but we're going to, at some point, it's going to overcompensate. Again, again if that's you look what we're back over for. the cycles, as long as they've been keeping records right. on real estate, this guy, there's there's some very definite cycles. Absolutely. And it always ends up a little higher than it, it, it was last time. And exactly. buying on the way down, 
you hope you hope you buy either at the bottom or just before it gets there but that time because if you wait till it comes back sometimes it comes back with a vengeance well, I mean, it happens so fast. Exactly, and that's why you always want to be aware of what is happening right now. Because, you know, how many times have you said, gosh, if somebody would have just told me, you know, or made me aware that's going to happen. a crystal ball. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, So this is as close as you get to a crystal ball in a market like this. Now, one of the stats that you, you, you brought us last week, was it 40% uh, of the transactions that happened in the past 30 days were cash buying. Cash buying. Well, that was based on um, based on the uh, foreclosures and um, and uh, short sales. Now that's got to be an investor type. That's yes. not somebody that's looking to buy their first house. Absolutely. And well, and it, could, it could be if, if, it, if that if your first house is if you're looking at it as an investment, something I'm doing to hopefully retain my capital and 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 help it grow. Well, younger people are looking at that simply because it's building a future for them. You know, if they can catch the market on that downturn, you know, we're overcompensating right now. You know, people are getting re ridiculous over it. There, it's a, lots it's of a articles this market. last week um, on all kinds of things that people are going, oh, oh, we can see the end. We can see the end of the tunnel where it's it's going down, right. and the foreclosure inventory is starting to level off a little bit. And, and then Realty Track just released that there's more foreclosures to come in a great number. So that's that's we're back to that point of you know everybody wants to be optimistic and everybody wants to be positive and everybody just can't wait for the bottom. But uh, you know it, it's this is the only way you find out what the bottom is. Okay. Well, yeah. What are our numbers this week? Our numbers this week. Uh, let's say um, I, I wanted to do a little bit of a comparison for okay. the beginning of January and the end of January. Uh, of last year and where we're at today. So let's just take for instance, and, and this was kind of unique. Um, well, we can't go anywhere for a couple of minutes. Shay's out with Mark now. Ooh. So Shay's going to be bring us a report with Mark Krisky here shortly. Right now? Are you ready? No, no, no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> shortly, shortly. So, saying okay. you got a few minutes till she gets back. Okay. Good deal. Just don't move. I'm not going to get out of camera. I'll panic. I, I'm not real good at this yet. I'm still on training. He's working hard with me here. <laughs> All right. By the way, Paris, I like the sweater. Thank you. There, you know, is that what, that's what Bryce I is. told you. When it snows, I'll wear the sweater. Okay. In the res in in the um, short sale and foreclosure market, which is okay. really, really basically what is pushing the market. Um, last year, at the end of uh, January, we had 35 homes that that sold. At the end of January, okay. At this point, 27. And if mm -hmm. You have, and this is in the foreclosure short sale mm -hmm. range, okay? okay? So last year we were at 35%, um, and this year we're at 44% cash buyers, okay? So it really pushes it hard. And then you jump right over that to the where we're at in this month, and we're already at 34% um, and 53% cash buyers. Hmm. So it's a substantial a half increase a in the first 17 days. Exactly. Of February, we've already matched all of January. Exactly. And again, more, more of those cash buyers getting in the market. And what's really and what that, does, that that tends to lower the price again because right. they've got more negotiating power. Exactly. Okay. In our market okay. today, you get more home. Last last year, we had a. Uh, this was based on a 1,200 square foot house, 126 dollars a square foot. Now it's a 1,500 square foot house at 110 dollars a square foot. Okay. I mean, a lot more. And these are your averages, and these are averages over the whole valley. These are not in any particular neighborhood. You can get stats for your neighborhood, mm -hmm. but this is just giving you the range of what, what we are dealing okay. with right now. Last year, you got 90% of your asking price because in, in this market here, they've already taken the price down pretty much as low sure. as they can, and right now we're getting 93% of our asking price. Oh, okay. So our, our market today is our average selling up, which is kind of different, and it just turns on you. Um, uh, last year was 169,000, and today it's 173,000. So we're well, that's come up in the last couple of months we, we as well. Just come up a okay. So that was that was uh, a good move. Well, and is that indicative of the of the bottom part of the market's kind of dissipated? Yes, yes, okay, because so that low end is being eaten up and sold, so they got to move up a little higher okay. in the market. So they they got to raise their sights, if you will. Um, and then last year the homes were on the market for uh, 108 days, and now they're on the market for 100. Days. And these are just in the short sell line, mm -hmm. short sell foreclosures. And is our, that because it takes so long to close it? 
It does, and and I got to tell you, you know what agents go through to do short sales and foreclosures, mm -hmm. especially short sales. You know, it's very much an oxymoron because there's nothing short about it, and <laughs> and uh, we spend a lot of time trying to get educated. And it seems like as soon as we think we know what we're doing, they change the whole format on us, and we start all over again. So it really is a frustrating transaction. Um, but well, uh, short sale for dummies is on volume six. There you go. Already. So. <laughs> Well, it, sometimes we all feel like dummies. I got, I got to tell you, you know, it's an amazing moment in life. Um, also, in the uh, short sales just and foreclosures, we have 94 listed right now in the market in our listing. Mm. So, um, you know, that's that's beating it down a little bit. So, I wish we could get all those out of our way, but uh, unfortunately, that's not going to happen for a little while. Uh, in the in the resale market, um, we are at uh, we're, we're doing a little better in the, in that range as to date uh, at. Uh, 52 for um, what that, let's see. We did the, uh, yeah 52 for the um, I think we reported 55 because I got in the middle of a thing last week but at this point here we're at 78 at 38 percent cash buyers at, on a 1500 square foot house 133 dollars uh, per square and that average selling home is 232 dollars a, uh, a unit and um, 131 days on the market 232 thousand. Yes, I'm yeah. sorry, what did I say? $232. Awesome, yes. where is that deal? <laughs> I'll take three. Uh, Shay's yeah. back. She's got some video for us. We're going to see it, I guess, right after the commercial break there. Thank you, Dan. My pleasure. I appreciate sir. it. Uh, Dan Bathurst, Exit Realty, and your 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 local website is? I have one. Exit, <laughs> Exit Big Bear dot net. I have to play with him a little bit. You know, he's always pushing on me, so i got to shoot back once in a while. Phone number is 909-878-0522. Oh, oh. I didn't even, I didn't even have to ask for it that time. Thanks again for coming in. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to go to commercial break. And then we've got Shay's report with Mark Kariski. Uh, he's, a, he's a real weather guy. He's a lot of fun. He's Mark a real weather guy. guy. You know, he's a real guy. That's not a hobby. No, it's just a hobby. We'll be back in three years. Don't go anywhere. You want to